Coleman Domingo. Hey, Carla. Renata. Listen, from Passing Strange mm. to Rustin, baby, you are doing the daggone thing. <laughs> and I can't be happier for you. Oh, child, I'm so excited. <laughs> so you. Martin Luther King's quote, the time is always right to, to do, do right. right. What does that mean for you being on the other side of this project? Mm. The time is always right to do right. Well, I guess it's th it speaks to now. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, the fact that I'm here, you know, after we've had this, um, this very tricky time making sure that, you know, you know, that with, with the SAG after strike, to be honest, and I think mm -hmm. now we're getting to the other side where we know that we want to be responsible to each other and take care of each other and to do right by each other. Mm -hmm. So I think that we've all been sort of living and trying to move within that. And now even as we're out here now to promote these these works that we believe in, I want to do right by 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 Rustin. I want to do right by my filmmakers. You know, I feel like I th maybe it's inspiring us in that, that statement from Dr. King is saying that we have to be responsible to each other and that's the way we create a better world. And I feel in whatever big and small ways but I feel like it's about being responsible to each other. So, Byard says in the film at some point when he's giving this big speech, he says, how can you speak of salvation and not save yourself? Come on, Jesus. Talk to me about it. <laughs> <laughs> did you did feel something at the screen when that happened? Listen, because I knew who it was coming from. It was coming from Byard, but it was really coming from Coleman Domingo. You know, because it is something. You know what? There is, as you know, this is beautiful alchemy that happens with character and, and person, and you have to pour some of yourself in there as well. And the beautiful thing is I feel like there, there's language in there that I understand and believe, you know, about people wanting to, you know, people who, who preach, preach the, the, the preach, but they don't walk the walk. And so I feel like in that, in that moment, he's actually asking for accountability and asking like, what do you really believe in? Who are you? How can you speak that and actually not live it? Mm -hmm. I, I don't understand it. So he's challenging, he, he, he challenging sort of, but he sort of plants the seed more than anything with the Elias character. He's planting the seed, and I think he's planting the seed to, for anyone to receive that in the audience. They're like, oh, well, what am I doing? I have to, I have to take stock of what I'm doing in my life and maybe make sure that there's a, a happier marriage between my soul and what I actually do. Cool. He was complicated. This is a really, really complicated man. He was a Quaker. He was communist. He had a lot going on. <laughs> yes, he did. And I know that you are an ordained minister. How did you bring that into portraying this very complicated life? Oh, you are so good. You're wonderful. And I know you're from Pennsylvania, too, yeah, so yeah. I know that you're familiar with Quakers. I think that we're, yes, we're very much, I think that we're like such polymaths, both of us. <laughs> and many, I'll call it a polymath. He he's, has a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> but ma that makes him such an original, right? That makes him such an original, and that's the only way he could be. He actually could have conformed and actually just been a very simple brother like anybody else to try to get by, but he did not. He decided to be all in his fullness everything, playing the lute, singing Elizabethan love songs, doing things that no other brother did. You know what I mean? Uh, b being in spaces where th that nobody really wanted your presence, but you knew you were the smartest person in the room. So, you know, who knows? Maybe, maybe there's some of that in me, possibly, as well. You know, I know that, like, I know that I come from people that, do, that it supported me to be exactly who I was in whatever space that I was in, and to use my mind and my heart, and to trust that that is the thing that would get me the success that I can get. So, and that's all I have. Listen, you have a powerful, poignant, and I can't even think of the other P word, kind of mind, spirit, and heart. And it has been my immense pleasure. I'm about to get choked up a little bit. Mm. My immense pleasure to sit down and talk to you because I'm so incredibly proud of what you accomplished. And I generally feel and, and honestly feel that this is just the tip of the iceberg for you. Okay. I'm so happy to be here at the, at the ground starting point of, of everything about to blow up like a, a volcano. I'm so happy for you. And I thank you for always supporting like from Passing Strange Days, thank you to for our journeys to meet like this again. I appreciate you so much. I love you, brother. Love, love you too. Love you too. All right. Mm. <laughs> thank you, sis.